So I really think this set, Fallout, from Magic the Gathering Universe Beyond, could be the best set in 2023. I know it's very early on, and we only have two really, really lackluster sets to look at, which is obviously uh, Murders of Carlo Manor, which is... The artwork sucks, the set is underpowered. Overall, I would say not a buy. Absolutely not a buy, right? Uh, the other set that I would look into was uh, Ravnica Remastered. And I love Ravnica. I think the anime waifus are pretty cool. But at what point in time do you say, you know what, that is a lot of reprints. How many reprints do we need? Uh, was it coast? Everything. We need them all. Yes, please, right? Um, in my opinion, a lot of individuals are chasing the wrong sets. They spend their money on MetaZoo. They're spending money on this. And then there's no money left over for a good set like this. This is a excellent set. Um, in my opinion, there is no question that this is the set of the year. Uh, Fallout is a great IP. You know, as an IP attorney, I appreciate IPs. Obviously, they paid some amount of money to license this. I am excited for uh, dog meat ever lawyer. I think every dog lover uh, is, you know, the more dogs you can have for your EDH Commander dog deck. Hey, man. Um, and the decks, you know, I'm not a big fan, you know, of collector booster boxes. I have a lot of them. So, I didn't actually order any of them. I ordered uh, a play set of i don't know why of each of the commander decks and that's it but my friend ordered a lot more and i didn't want to make the video until his his order was complete approved blah 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 everything is done um because there's a lot of people getting their orders canceled and that's not good now our distributor has canceled some products before but they have been actually funko figures and this was two or three years ago with the funko craze and he's canceled a lot of Pokemon product that we have ordered. And then he's like, oh, well, I don't have as much. And But he's never canceled a single Magic product. So I think we're good. And we asked him specifically, or is this like in any danger of being canceled? And the answer is no. So no, no, no. So I think we're good. He's a relatively honest guy. He does like to, uh, what, what does he say? One time... Uh, we were buying these uh, Funko figures of Walking Dead. And there's like mystery figures. There's like a Michonne and so on. So he does like, uh, if, if we're going to open it for ourselves, we he does like to actually look at the opening to see if like all the figures in the set. So we just like snap in a picture of the Michonne. So I actually have that Michonne. It's like one out of like 200 or something. And then I have the other one with like no leg glowing in the dark. He does like that we open the own things and we can actually see that we can actually make a whole set of them. So, yeah, I mean, this set is basically the set of the year. If you guys have money, tax money, <laughs> uh, you understand how this works, right? Oh, where's a ghost? Hey, guys, uh, does anyone uh, have tax refunds? Yeah, spend it on this shit. Lord of the Rings, I thought, you know, I, I bought a few boxes, collector boxes and so on. I bought, obviously, the... The random shit that they had. just They had so much random Lord of the Rings stuff. I didn't think it would be as successful as it was. I thought after the one-on-one -on -one ring chase. Like what is it really the chase? Fallout I think has a bigger. I think it has a lower floor. And a maybe a similar ceiling. So. Uh, but also the economy is not good. So my friend bought 70k, 68k point something something uh, of Lord of the Rings. And he's buying less Fallout even though he enjoys Fallout more. Much more actually. We enjoy it much more than we did Lord of the Rings. Which is an older IP. We, we obviously watch the movies. Um, but Fallout is a video game that we have played more recently than watch a Lord of the Rings movie. So um, it's really just the economy. Even the wealthy people are not spending as much money. So I think that... I uh, I don't know if he over-ordered. Like 40000 It was like 38 39 with tax and shipping. And power, when we got to hire a forklift driver. A lot of people who never buy this shit, they don't, don't understand. 
they don't understand. These come in pallets, and you have to hire a license, at least in Texas. I don't know if it's different in other states. I don't live in other states. You have to hire a licensed forklift driver, and you got to pay them per hour. So the truck comes around, and it does not move. And you have about the, the truck driver will leave in like 15, 20 minutes if he doesn't see progress. So if your licensed forklift driver is not there on time, you're effed. Because the truck will move on, and they'll come back the next day. And it will, supposedly it only delivers to commercial residences, but again, exceptions can be made. But the one thing that cannot be made is, and I always felt this kind of weird. So did the truck driver have like a forklift in the, in the um, vehicle, and then they could charge a little bit of money for it to forklift out? No, you actually need to find a dude with a forklift license. It's probably the most bizarre thing I've ever seen, but it is it is what it is, right? Maybe it's only in Texas. I don't know. So anyway, that costs money. So we are probably going to open it sometime. He got a new home on Monday. He just moved in Monday, just the basics, right? He's still not even living at the home. He's just living in a hotel right now. But now he has more space for his magic collection. He has probably over, he has probably the biggest collection of swords to plowshares that you will ever see. And uh, he loves Fallout. And he only ordered 40000 And that really is the economic thing. NVIDIA, S&P 5. Uh, people are... It's not just magic. It's just across the board of luxury goods. Uh, Rolexes, Richard Millies. They're all kind of on the decline right now. And there's not really... How can I say? There's not really a way to like... There, there's less people buying. There's less people buying. And... The reality of this is quite obvious, is you got to save your money and buy the shit that matters to you. So MetaZoo, if you don't like MetaZoo, if you do like MetaZoo, you can wait until today and then you can buy the boxes for one tenth the price. What is the problem? Like, I don't understand the problem. Like, what is the problem here? Um, you need to spend your money wisely and even more wisely now, right, with the economy being what it is. People be losing jobs, uh, people being laid off. Um, there's a motherfucking ton of layoffs right now in the tech field. Esports is like massively. I have friends in esports and they're all getting laid off. UPS to lay off. Google to lay off thousands more employees despite record profits one year. Shake up continues at Dish. Oh my, Dish. Oh my God. Frog, Marching, Akita. Okay, so Google is laying off as tech giants cut jobs. Innovation mid head back to the roots to garage. Google office in Cambridge, Massachusetts was hit by layoffs last year. During 2023, more than 260,000, which I'm in tech. Jobs were eliminated in North America, including many with six-figure salaries and all the benefit trimmings. Yeah, a lot of tech jobs. He's not in tech. He's in oil and gas, so I... It probably is okay. Yeah, I, I'm kind of actually, now that I think about it, you know, Nike to lay off 1,500 jobs. Alibaba, layoff. I'm on the layoff page. Alphabet CEO, Sundar Pinchon on layoffs. Cisco says is cutting 5% of his global workforce. Warner Music to cut 600 jobs or 10% of its staff. Yikes. <laughs> 